Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be proving a mathematical theorem. So our theorem is uh, prove that parallelograms standing on the same base between same parallel lines are equal in area. So what this means is if you have parallelograms uh, standing on the same base and between same parallel lines, then they are equal in area. We can understand this better with a figure. So let's say we have one line, okay? And let's say we have another line, right? Let's say these two lines are parallel with each other. Now let's name these two lines. Let's say this line is AB and this line is CD. So these two are our parallel lines. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make a parallelogram on the space AB, okay? So our parallelogram would look something like this. So this is one parallelogram, right? Let's name this one E. So we have parallelogram A, B, D, E standing on the base A, B. And it is between the parallel lines C, D and A, B, okay? So this is a parallelogram which is standing on the base A, B and it is between the C, D and A, B parallel lines. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make another parallelogram, okay? So in this direction, so this is our second parallelogram, right? So let's name this point F. So we have this parallelogram A, B, and F, C, which is pointing towards the left side, right? This parallelogram is also standing on the base A, B, right? And it is also between the same parallel lines C, D, and A, B. Now what the theorem tells us is that these two parallelograms, right? The parallelogram pointing towards the right, which is our A, B, D, E, and the parallelogram which is pointing towards the left, A, B, F, C, these two parallelograms have equal area, and that's what we are going to be proving in this theorem mathematically. Now, the first thing that we do when solving any mathematical theorems is first, we just write the given things in the question, okay? And we are going to write the given things from the figure. So we have in this figure A, B, D, E, one parallelogram, and E, B, F, C, another parallelogram, standing on the same base, A, B, and between the same parallel lines, C, D, and A, B. And that's what we are going to write in our given, okay? So our given is, like I said, the parallelograms A, B, D, E, right? And the parallelograms A, B, F, C are standing on the same base, A, B, and between the same parallel lines, C, D, and A, B. And that's our given thing. Now, the second thing that we are going to write to prove this theorem is to prove. What do we need to prove in this theorem? So first, we have written the given thing, right? These two parallelograms are standing on the same base, between the same parallel lines. What we need to prove is the area of these two parallelograms are equal. So area of parallelogram A, B, D, E is equal to the area of parallelogram A, B, F, C. So we need to prove the area of this parallelogram facing towards our right side, A, B, D, E, is equal to the area of parallelogram facing to the left side, A, B, F, C. Now that we have written our given things that are given in our question and the thing that we need to prove Usually in the third point, if you need to make any sort of constructions, you would do that. If you don't need to do any construction, you go to the fourth step. And that fourth step is just proving the theorem, okay? That would be our proof. Now, since we don't need any sort of constructions in this proof, we are just directly going to prove this theorem, okay? So we have our proof. In proof, we need two boxes, okay? So one box would include the statements. And in the other box, we'll write the reasons. So the way we can prove these two parallelograms are equal is if we have, let's say, these two triangles are equal, let's name this triangle triangle 1, let's name this triangle triangle 2. Then we could prove these two parallelograms are equal. How? So if these two triangles were equal, let's name this middle trapezium, right, number 3, this figure, right, which looks like a house. 
So if we had 1 is equal to 2, right, these two triangles were equal, then what we could do is we could add 3 to both sides, right? 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 3. This is going to be equal. Okay, these are not numbers, okay? These are just the figures. Then what we would get is 1 plus 3 is this entire parallelogram towards our left side, right? So it would be parallelogram towards our left side is equal to 2 plus 3, right? In the right side, we have 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 would be this parallelogram facing towards the right side, which would be our parallelogram facing towards the right side. So if we just had these two triangles equal, then we could add these triangles with this middle trapezium and we would get these two parallelograms are equal, right? But we don't have that given in our question. So first, what we need to do is we need to prove these two triangles are equal in area. Now, how can we do that? We can do that if we can prove that these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, then their areas are obviously going to be equal. So to write 1 is equal to 2, these two triangles are equal, we need to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. Now, how can we prove these two triangles are congruent? There are lots of axioms, right? Tests of congruency that we can use to prove any two triangles are congruent. But the axiom that we will be using in this particular theorem, or which matches with these two triangles, is the axiom of AAS. Okay, let's see how this matches, okay? So this is our parallelogram, right? So these two lines are also parallel. I forgot to write that in the beginning. So to prove these two triangles are congruent by AAS axiom, we need to find one angle, another angle, and another side equal between these two triangles, right? So let's first find one angle. So this angle right here is equal to this angle right here, okay? In these two triangles, these two angles are equal. Now, why? Because this line, okay, this line AC is parallel to this line BF. And when you look at it in this way, see, these two lines, right? These two lines are parallel. These two angles are equal because they are corresponding angles, right? So these two angles are equal. We have found one angle. Now for the next angle, if we look at this angle, okay? And this angle, these two angles are also equal in these two triangles. Why? Again, if we look at this line AE and BD, again, these two lines are parallel and we would get another figure something like that, right? So again, these two lines are parallel, so these two angles are going to be equal because they are again corresponding angles. So we have another angle as well. Now we need a side. So this side right here is equal to this side of this triangle because these are opposite sides of parallelogram, right? This is a parallelogram it's given in our question. So we have our third side as well. So by AAS axiom, we can prove that these two triangles are congruent. And if we can prove they are congruent, we know their areas are equal. And if their areas are equal, we can add 3 and 3 to both sides of those triangles. And we will get our parallelogram left side is equal to the parallelogram facing to the right side. And that's how we are going to be proving this theorem. Okay? Now we just need to write the same thing in a formal way, right? So I've just copied the smaller version of that picture below here because we will need to look at the figure, right, to write all these things. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to try to prove these two triangles are congruent, right? So in our number one, we have the name of this triangle is ACE and the name of that triangle is BFD. So in triangle ACE, and triangle BFD are number one, right? The first thing that we are going to make equal are the two angles, right? So angle ACE is equal to angle BFD. Angle ACE is equal to angle BFD. So here comes our angle, right? The reason they are equal is because they are corresponding angles. Similarly, the next angle that we are going to make equal is angle CEA and FDB, right? So angle CEA is equal to angle FDB. So again, we have another angle over here. The reason is again 
same, right? So these two are also corresponding angles. So let's write that. Now the third point is going to be the sides, right? So the side EE is equal to BD. So EE is equal to BD. So this is our side. And the reason these two sides are equal are because they are opposite sides of parallelograms, right? So opposite sides of parallelogram. Now that we have shown these three things are equal in these two triangles, what we can do is we can write that triangle ECE is congruent to triangle BFD. And why? Because of the AAS axiom. So by AAS axiom of congruency, these two triangles are congruent. Now that these two triangles are congruent, we can say that their areas are also equal. So area of triangle EC is equal to area of triangle BFT. So why is the area equal? Because they are congruent triangles. And the area of congruent triangles are always equal. Now we have proven that 1 is equal to 2 up to here, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to add this 3, right? Which is our A, B, F, E to 1 and 2. So number 4 is going to be adding trapezium. I'm just writing the short form here, okay? So trapezium A, B, F, E plus triangle E, C, E should be equal to trapezium A, B, F, E plus triangle B, F, D. So in our number four, what it did is we just added this trapezium to E, C, E and B, F, D, right? So adding trapezium a, B, F, E to statement 3, okay? So in the statement 3, in both sides, we are just adding A, B, F, E. Now, in our statement 5, what we are going to get is when we add A, B, F, E, and E, C, E, which is our 3 and 1, we are going to get this entire parallelogram A, B, F, C, right? Similarly, when we add A, B, F, E, and B, F, D, which is 3 and 2, we are going to get the parallelogram A, B, D, E. Okay, so we are going to get A, B, F, C in the left side, and we are going to get A, B, D, right? So area of parallelogram, when we add these two, we get the parallelogram facing to the left side, right? A, B, F, C. A, B, F, C is equal to the area of parallelogram. When we add these two things, which is 3 and 2, we get A, B, D, E, right? So it's going to be A, B, D, E. So here the reason is we are just adding from statement 4, okay? So we just write from statement 4. And proved. We have proved our theorem, okay? So we needed to prove that ABFC equals ABD, right? So see, we needed to prove that ABFC is equal to ABD. And that's what we have done here, right? So ABFC is equal to ABD. So what we have just proved is that if we had parallelograms, so these are standing on the same base and between same parallel lines, then their areas are equal. So first you just write the given things from the figure then you write what you need to prove, and then you write the proof, which is the actual thing where you actually prove the theorem, okay? And that's it. So if you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future maths videos. Thank you.